guys, Quinch77 here, and um, today we will be doing a basic tutorial on DestroCraft for the basic machines and the wiring. And so, let's get started. So, first, we're going to talk about power generation, because to run all these machines and stuff, we need power generation. And so we have um, four different types of power generation for the basic power generation, and these are the solar panel, windmill, watermill, and geothermal generator. Okay, so let's go over the solar panel first and how it works. Okay, so we'll just fly up to the top of this building here, and we can place it anywhere. I'm just place it right here, and you'll notice it has a little light indicator. That means it is getting energy from the sun, and if it has to be directly in contact with the sun, it can't be underground, and there can't be a block above it because if there's a block above it the light goes out and it's no longer generating energy and now a solar panel does not generate that much energy it's just a small amount so if we go down here we can hook it up to an energy storage unit or otherwise known as a bat box so this is the bat box right here I'll show you how to craft it just like this with some batteries which are crafted like so which I can't craft actually because they're full batteries which you don't actually need for the recipe by the way and copper cabling which requires rubber as you can see, which we will get into later. But if we take some copper cables, or no, we can use ultra low current cables because these are best for solar panels and windmills and stuff, and the water mills, which are really low current. They don't hold that much power. And if we start throwing this stuff down here, which is made with tin, by the way, look at that, we get nine of them. And we're just going to go all the way to the floor, and we will hook it up to our bat box, okay? And you'll see this is filling with energy. It looks like it's fairly fast, but this thing can st store 40,000 units, okay? Or it's called EU industrial craft. That's the energy measure, or energy unit. And so we can see how much power the solar, power solar generator, or, yeah, is getting us with our EU reader, which can be made like shown with some glowstone, an electronic circuit, which is made like this with some refined iron, which is iron in a furnace. And so this will allow us to see how much energy is in going through the wire at the moment. So we just click, it says start a new measurement, and the longest amount of time we wait before you click again is the more accurate it will be. And see, a sol one solar panel will generate one EU per tick. Okay? Over 108 ticks, which means I waited 108 ticks and it's about one, which is fairly low, actually, like extremely low. And so if we were to, we're going to go over the wind generator now, or windmill. I'm pretty sure windmill is about the same, but it has to be fairly high up with like little obstruction, because that makes sense, because it's a windmill and it needs high power. I've actually never used a windmill on a survival thing, because it has to be so high up, and they can't be placed next to each other, I'm pretty sure, which solar panels can and so now if we take our EU reader from here, we can start a new measurement and then go again, or, yeah. Um, it's 0.39 EU per tick. And you can keep on clicking. And so, yeah, this isn't doing very well. I mean, this is only one generator, but it's not as good as a solar panel. And I will show you how to craft it. Like, show. Oh, no. Like that, with um, some iron around a generator which is probably why it's so low powered because solar panels are actually fairly hard to craft if you look at that you need coal dust, two electronic circuits, some glass, and a generator so that's that's fairly fairly hard to get to and so if we're just gonna knock this guy off of here alrighty so we're just picking up and you notice when I broke these they um, turn into generators, so normally you're supposed to use a wrench, which I'll get one, just to show you guys. The wrench can be used to pick up machines and energy generation stuff without harming them. So next we will go to the water mill, which i am placed down here because we don't really need it. I'm up there. So the water mill can either have a bucket of water in it, like so, and um, I'm pretty sure whenever this reaches a full bucket, or maybe it's 
Yeah, I think it's already creating energy. Let's just check that out. Yeah, it creates two EU per tick, but it runs out fairly quickly and it needs more water. But if you but the other thing with watermelon, you can place it in a water source and it will use that water instead of using water buckets. So that's pretty cool. So that's two EU per tick. And the next is the geothermal generator, which is by far the highest. Okay, because it runs off lava and just crafted like shown with the empty cells, which you can create like this. And refined iron and a generator. Okay, so we're just going to plop that down and we'll put a bucket of lava in. And okay, so I know I don't know what happened. A geothermal generator is a type of power generator. But it, oh yeah, it can't use this low voltage because it's high voltage, so it needs a high voltage thing. So we're just gonna take that off and go like this, and you can see the interface light up. And this thing's going up fairly fast now. We get our EU radio out. But 20 EU per tick from this one one bucket of lava. So that's that's fairly good for the thing. And I'm just show you guys the wrench. You right click. And that didn't work actually. I think it's a chance of getting it back. Or I don't know. It should have worked, but oh well. I'm gonna destroy all the energy we just had in there. And so I will start showing you guys the basic machines now. And so I'll get a set of really really good power generation going up, and so just to show you the actual awesome machines. I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. And so basically, I've set up a high voltage system. And so we'll, we can get into that in another episode or advanced tutorial of power generation. And so uh, there's one lower voltage, lower um, power generation that I didn't mention, which I'm surprised I forgot. But it is the generator, which is it runs off coal. So if we put some coal in here, it would immediately start um, generating power in its buffer. And this thing is probably, yeah, it's already full. So... There's no really place for it to go, so it's just going to get stored in this buffer right here. And so, um, I've set up four basic machines, okay? And I will show you guys the recipes of all of them. I mean, the first one we have is the iron furnace, which is just a furnace that cooks things a lot faster. If I have stuff to actually cook, we'll just get some gold ore. But it cooks significantly faster than a regular furnace so yeah and that is crafted like of course I went out of it but that's just me it's crafted like this with a fur iron furnace which is crafted with iron in a furnace shape or a furnace regular furnace with some iron in like an end shape above it but and then electronic circuit and then two redstone all right so that is the electric furnace, just a faster furnace. And then next is the compressor. And the compressor is kind of a more advanced machine. There's a few recipes you can put in there that um, aren't like normal recipes. Like, I'm not sure this has been added yet because Tech is a, um, a fairly new... It's like, well, not fairly new. It's fairly um, old, that's what I meant to say. It's fairly old compared to the newest version of Minecraft. This is like 1.2.5, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it's to 1.1. I don't think so, but maybe. If, yeah, if you put three netherrack in a compressor, I'm pretty sure it takes all three. I think it will give you a piece of netherrack. Now, I'm not certain if, about this, but I am almost positive that it will give you a piece of netherrack. And the brick, sorry. So, um, it's, compressor can be used for lots of other things, lots of more advanced things in the future. But yeah, here we go, another rack. Place it down in the world because it looks nice. Anyway. So, um, that's pretty much the compressor. It can be used for a lot of more advanced functions, but, um, there's not that many, like, simple, like, first step functions. And the macerator, this is one of the things you want to get straight off the bat. This is one of the in my opinion, one of the best things about industrial craft is the macerator and the higher version of the macerator to come. Let's say I put one of these gold ore in here, and it will take it'll take some time. 
but um, what this is basically going to do is it's going to take this gold ore and it's going to like smash it up and do all sorts of fancy technological stuff and it will grind it to dust pretty much. And so from this one gold ore we'll get two golden dust. And this only works with ore by the way, you can't do it with ingots, you only get one for an ingot. But with this dust we can just throw it in this furnace right here, I'll turn it to day. And this will give us two pieces of gold. So any ore you mine, you can basically get double of it with the macerator. So that that's pretty cool, in my opinion. I don't know about yours, but I see that's that's fairly fairly neat. And the extractor. There's only like a few things you can do with the extractor, but one of the most important is for rubber. And so I will go into rubber right now. All right, guys. So. This is what's called a rubber tree in industrial craft, okay? And so they have a very significant, like, a different look about them, okay? They have the wood of a like, pine tree, which is over there. They have the same wood as this. But they also have the leaves of a birch tree, which is that really white tree. And there's actually... Is that a rubber tree? Yeah, yeah, there's a rubber tree right here. Okay, I didn't actually need to spawn one. So I'll just use this one because this one's naturally spawning. And they do spawn most often in um, swamp biomes. You can see there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's like a ton in this one swamp biome alone. And I was completely disturbed like that and spawned the rants in my house. But anyway, you also notice on the rubber tree this little yellow spot right here. And this is what's called a resin spot. And if you click this with a tree tap, crafted like shown, nope, crafted like shown, nope, why can't, okay, here we go, yeah, wood in this type of tree tapish formation, and it will give you this sticky resin, and the sticky resin you can turn into rubber, but the neat thing about rubber trees is they're actually farmable, I don't know if you guys can see this on YouTube, but there is a rectangle right here where the sticky resin spot used to be and this will respawn so don't cut down rubber trees guys this is they are very 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 valuable because they are basically our way to farm rubber because you will need lots and lots of rubber as you go on through industrial craft so but if we place our piece of rubber rubber in the extractor we'll just let that sit for a while and i'll place one in the electric furnace which is normally how you start out because you need rubber to make all these things you'll notice that you get one piece of rubber from the electric furnace and over here with the extractor it's a lot slower but you get three pieces of rubber from one sticky resin and I'm pretty sure you can also put the wood in the rubber wood from in the extractor to get one piece of rubber okay so that's just a neat that's a way to get rubber the only way to get rubber it doesn't have an MC value or anything but I'll get to that later and so guys this has been the basic tutorial on the basic machines and basic wiring. So it's been Quince number 7. Have a great day everyone. Okay guys, um, so one last say, whoa, spike of black. Um, one last thing I forgot to say was there is one last power generator, but it is a fairly high power generator, it's actually the uh, one, I think, one of the highest ones in the game, and as you can see this little like symbol on the top, it is a nuclear generator. So, I'm just going to place all these uranium cells, which are crafted like shown with uranium in an empty cell, and uranium is made with a compressor, compressing uranium ore. Now, I should probably get away because this thing needs to be cooled. If it is not cooled, you saw I got hurt there for a second, and it just blew up. So you guys really got to watch out for your, your um, nuclear generators because um, they will explode, and they are quite a big explosion. As you can see, the whole hillside is completely just decimated. That hill got torn in half. That one definitely did. And there's a fairly large hole. And I was talking about, guys, this is uranium ore. Ha! Ah, ironic. And there's all the uranium cells and some other stuff. And, um, 
other thing I forgot to mention, District Craft also adds ores to the game. This is copper, there's tin, um, uranium, of course, and I think there's a few other ones, but yeah. So 